Warning. This channel features sarcasm and jokes. If you are offended by anything, we do not care. Uh, did that person ever, uh... Uh, send the game, by the way? Or is that person still, uh, trying to figure out how to, how to... S okay. Good. Nice. Oh, bad move. Yeah, EF is good. I like to play GF, but... Okay. It's fantastic. Great, I would attack the bishop. Sometimes when your opponents make these pinning moves, you gotta ask yourself, like... What's the big deal? You know? And you can just get two bishops versus two knights. Uh, but after bishop b5, g6 is also a good move. This is good. No threat. I guess knight f4 is mildly unpleasant. Um, you know what I would play here? It's probably bad. Uh, but uh, I would play d4. Why? Because your opponent's king is in the center still. And if they do this, you're just completely winning. It's like minus five. Yeah, it's, it's minus five unless they go here, and then it's minus three. So it's completely winning. Um, anyway, uh, that's... Uh, what the... F I turned off feedback, so it jumped ahead the entire game and removed player info. Just chess.com things. Um, I said, don't give me, like, an analysis feedback. Nice, so it skipped the entire... Yeah, right, because when I click feedback or no feedback, it means go to the end of the game. Exactly. Okay, terrific. Um, yeah, five is good. Yeah, black is much better here. Uh, why is black much better? Because you have to think of the four... Uh, not much better, but enough. Um, black is much better because... Uh, sorry, I read a nice comment in the chat, and I my ADHD kicked in. In chess, you have four ways of uh, analyzing. I'm drinking gasoline. This is 100% uh, unleaded gasoline. Ah, uh, because I'm a machine. That's why. Um, I'm clearly not a very environmentally friendly machine, but... Yeah, so material here is equal. Uh, king safety is about equal because white can just castle, but black has much better quality pieces. Bishop and knight. The queen is also not an asset. It's much more of a target. Uh, white also has no space. No space. What do the numbers 1 to 12 mean in your recent thumbnails? You... No, no, you're joking. I'm not going to answer that. No. With me. <laughs> no. No, no, no. You're joking. Um, I'm not answering that. You're a troll. Um... Yeah, and the fact that black has very, 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 very mobile pawns. So that's that's contributing to the advantage. Uh, and uh, white's next move is actually the only move. Like, white's got to start trading pieces. Okay? Knight a4. Knight a4 is a very good move uh, because it attacks a pawn, and it also hangs a rook in one move. Wow. Why did you send this game? Is there anything we can learn from this? Okay. I guess it's kind of interesting. You're gonna have to save your bishop. Yeah, okay. All right, yeah, your king's a little weak now because all your pawns are advanced. Good. Great move. You don't even have to acknowledge that. I would just play f3. Wow. Rook f3? Pawn f3 is also good. Which one is better, I wonder? Uh, they are equal. No, mine is better. This is minus 5.3. This is minus 5.1, so you're trash and I'm good. Okay. The point is you don't actually have a mate. Like, you're you're not fast enough to give a mate here. But yeah, rook lift. Do you even rook lift, bro? Did I say I was a troll when you donated? No, I didn't. What? No. I never, no. I never said that. I never said that. No. What? Who said that? I didn't say you were a troll. Nice. Gotta be complete- What? Why? Rook h2. Bro, you did the whole thing. You did the whole thing and then you didn't take. No, I didn't- I didn't call you a troll. Someone donated in the beginning of the stream today, in the middle of an intense blitz game, telling me to lose my queen on purpose and then they would give me money. And that threw off my concentration. It actually made me very mad. I was very mad for like a total of about two minutes. 
um, because I've lost every game that I've played to that opponent, and I would have liked to beat him, because I know I'm not worse than him to the extent of being 7-0, but sometimes there's just nothing you can do. Okay, uh, yeah, you shouldn't have hung a fork, I don't know what happened there. Uh, but you're still winning, but probably mentally it's like very difficult here. Uh, give a check, and then give another check, and the game is over. Um, in fact, this is the only winning idea now, and I, I'm willing to bet that that is not what happened. Oh. 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 Okay. So you won. Nice. Good job. By the way, you know what's a very fancy and completely unnecessary move here? This. You can flex your endgames on your opponent. Why is this winning for black? More pawns. Outside pass pawn that white needs to be in the square for, and then you just bring your king. And while this king has to stay over here, you gobble gobble. All right. Oh! No way. He actually did that? Dude, you could you could have just went here. Oh my god, he actually did that. What a boss. What a boss. Wait. Wait, what are you doing? Those pawns are the only thing you have. Wait, your only asset is the pawns. Why are you going in front of them? What? What? It's a draw now. Okay, now okay, now you're winning again. Yeah. One of the Chesley Plus courses that we're releasing mini like the ones that are included when you get plus because if you get chestly plus you get two free courses a month we have a a little lecture on pawn end games you gotta go here i mean this is a no-brainer it's a no-brainer of a move like because white only has this and you just use your h pawns and then you eat everything king h4 is a crazy move okay king g4 back okay no See? How are you a genius once you win the pawn, but prior, you cannot put your king on h4. You gotta take a moment, you gotta pause, you gotta go, all right, what's the plan? All right, the plan is white will try to do this and I will try to do this, but these pawns don't have to be pushed. You gotta, more often than not, opposing the king is the right thing to do. More often than not. You only ever go to the side of a king if there is a tangible benefit. For example, in this position, you would go here because there is a benefit. Because you're either threatening to take these pawns or white is going to run out of moves. White just can't, right? So you should never outflank and get in your own way. The king's not going to, you know, I3, all right? He can't, he can't glitch off the map like I used to do in combat arms and then shoot at people with my sniper rifle, my L69A1. All right, those were the good days. You could glitch off the map and snipe people off the map and they couldn't see you. Um, can't do that anymore, all right? Anyway, you converted this and I'm assuming you won. You said you threw hard in the end game. No, you did not throw hard in the end game. That is absolutely not what happened. Uh, no, what? No, <laughs> no. What? <laughs> Bro, th that is a terrible evaluation of this game. <laughs> you did not throw hard in this endgame. What you did is you failed to convert in the most uh, concrete way. But it was still good. I mean, you still did fine. It got a little dicey here because you lost the rook. Uh, but then you did this, and this was good. I mean, I, did you? I don't know if you hung the rook or if you, you know... But uh, yeah, everything was good. This is just a fundamental misunderstanding of the endgame, but... You have 50 seconds, so there's not really, I mean, it's all good, you know? This was a good game. You play like this, you'll be 1800. Made one mistake in 63 moves. You know how, you know how much people would do to make one mistake in 63 moves? People make 70 mistakes in 63 moves.